So, people who know me know that I'm a pretty big fan of Denny Lane. If you don't know who he is, he was the original lead singer of the Moody Blues and ended up working with Paul McCartney and Wings for the entirety of Wings. And he also has quite an extensive solo career and he's done other bands. He's been in Ginger Baker's Air Force, a band called Balls, um, yeah, electric string band he had in the late 60s as well. And yeah, so he's been, he's done a whole lot of stuff. And I am an avid collector of his, of memorabilia relating to him. So I figured, because I just have a lot of it, I may as well show some of it in the video because some of it's kind of boring, some of it's kind of cool. I don't know, I think it's cool, but that's me. So yeah, um, I guess I'll start with the records of his I have, starting with his studio albums. So I have a big stack of them here. I've got Holly Days, nice copy of it, signed. It's a pretty cool album, if you don't know, it's um, basically a Wings album. It's Buddy Holly covers, Denny singing, it's pretty great. I'm a fan. I don't listen to it that often, actually, but I should. And then I have Japanese Tears, if it's of any interest to anybody. Pretty much his most popular solo album, also it could essentially be a Wings album. It's got Howie Casey, Steve Holly, Jojo Lane, Paul and Linda McCartney, Henry McCulloch, and Denny Sywell on it. And yeah, I really like the pictures on the back. I think it's cool. Denny and his wife at the time, Jojo. And yeah, I don't know if, if you have a copy of it, which I'm assuming most people watching this probably would. It's uh, pretty cool on the back. There's lots of interesting liner notes which tell you all about all the songs, which I could go over in another video, but I won't do that right now. And another ho copy of ho Holidays, I don't know why. And then I have Ah Lane here, which I think is just an absolute masterpiece. I think Ah Lane is an amazing, like, folky, folk rock, 70s, early 70s album. It's just phenomenal, so underrated. I think everyone should listen to this at least once in their life, probably a lot more, because you're not going to be able to stop. And yeah, moving on the whole stack to me. <laughs> also have here, also signed, um, Anyone Can Fly, another of his solo albums. This is an awesome album too. It's really interesting. I like the horns on some of the songs. It's still got the more not electronic feel. Doesn't feel too 80s. It's, yeah, I'm a fan. It still could pass as like late 70s, I guess, but I don't know. And I've got Hometown Girls over here, which is a concept album from 1985. And there's the cover. You can see it's an interesting cover. It's a nice glare, sorry about that. But yeah, there's the back. And on the back, it explains the story of the album, which I'm not gonna read the whole thing right now. I guess I could. It has Maggie Bell singing one of the songs. I like her, you know, it's pretty cool. And, you know, Denny worked a lot with Eddie Harden, and they were good friends, I'm sure. So he helped with this and other albums as well. And also Wings on My Feet from 87, I think, if I'm remembering right. It's a cool album. Some people, I've seen a lot of complaints about it being very synthy, but I think it's pretty awesome. Um, there's something I was going to say. Oh yeah, Rick Wakeman does keyboards on this, and understandably they're pretty great. So, it's a pretty good album. I don't really listen to this one that much. I like the A-side a lot, but... I mean, the B-side's good, too. The closing track, Space Train, is really, like, psychedelic. It's cool. And I have Lonely Road from 1988. That's the cover. It's pretty normal, bland-ish cover, I guess. President Records. Um... Yeah, I like this album a lot. It took me forever to track it down, like, over two years, but I found it eventually. The first time I heard it, I thought it was really cool. It's just interesting. Yeah, it's cool. I really think um, First Day in London and Burning Bridges, is that those two are really good. I also like Black Sheep, but honestly, I don't think there's a single filler track on this album. I think it's really solid. And I've got this one over here, Master Sweet. It's just an instrumental album. It's really nice. It's good, like, easy listening. 
it says it's um, on this album Danny clearly demonstrates his ability as a virtuoso guitarist I mean yeah it's it's cool I don't really know the track breakdown it's hard to identify the names with the titles without lyrics but yeah and then I also have much more recent release Danny's recent um meant to be it over the horizon that he did in um did working with the Wyland Foundation for sea life marine life and this is cool it's an interesting song I think it sounds pretty great and then aside from that I have some that's like his normal studio album collection then I've got some I guess I'll start by saying, if you don't know, Japanese Tears is probably like one of the most re-labeled and resold albums I can think of. It's just, there are so many different versions of it. So I have two more versions of it here. I have one called Denny Lane, Paul McCartney, and Friends. It's kind of beat up. I, looks like whoever had it before me spilled coffee on it, but yeah. Interesting cover, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but pictures of Paul and Denny are cool on there. And aside from that, I have, take out a sleeve, this one titled Weep for Love after one of the tracks on there. And it's hard to see it because of that awful glare, but it's, I like the cover on this one because I think it's a whole picture of Denny. But yeah, I haven't actually played this one. I haven't had a chance to because it's just the same album. And then I also have Ginger Baker's Air Force because, you know, Denny sings Man of Constant Sorrow on it. And, yeah, I mean, anyone who likes Ginger Baker's Air Force knows what this looks like. It's a cool album. Not my style throughout, but I like a few things on there. And then, I guess I will go to my 45s. I've got a decent stack of Denny 45s. I think I have more, too, but I don't want to dig them all out, so we're going to go through these. I've got, on President Records, off of Lonely Road, a single... It's uh, Land of Peace is the A-side, and If I Try is the B-side. This is a good one. I haven't seen many copies of this one. Actually, a lot. there's a lot of, I don't even, I'm probably missing a good amount of them. I really, I have no way to know, because there's no database or anything that lists it for you. But it seems like there's a, like, they, I find them on eBay. They randomly will show up, and I'll be like, oh, hey, I'm going to get that. Or it's just um, singles from his solo albums that I've never seen, usually on President Records. It's pretty cool. I've also got off of Wings on My Feet, I've got Wings on My Feet with the B-side of It's Never Too Late. Can't really see it there, obviously, but yeah. I don't want to take them all out of the sleeves, but it's a good one. And then from Anyone Can Fly, I really like this one just because it actually has a sleeve unlike the others. Running Around in Circles and Racing Cars. Two cool tracks on there. I think Racing Cars is a really fun one. Yeah, I really like this. It's a good one. I say that about all of them but they're all good so and then this is a the studio version actually of because you know if you've never heard it I'm sure everyone watching this probably has Ginger Baker's Air Force is a live album this album is but um, I have the studio version of Denny's song on there Man of Constant Sorrow so that's it's a much cleaner version and I like it because Denny's vocals really pop and it's, it's a really nice version and I've also got Go Now, which is Go Now, we've all heard it a million times on the A side, but the B side has like an alternate mix of You Lost and Found Me, which is a song off of Denny's 1990 album All I Want Is Freedom, so that's pretty cool. I have that on CD, I'll pull that out later with my other, my other chunk of stuff. But yeah, the alternate mix is cool, it's got like heavier bass and stuff like that. I've also got a Holly Days, Capitol Records 45. Got I'm looking for someone to love, and I don't remember. It's so easy. To listen to me. I never listen to this. Like I mean, I love Holidays. It's great, but I have no desire to really like go for the effort of getting it on my record player over there. Too much work. <laughs> I, I listen to the others more because I've I don't know. I'm less tired of them. I guess is the way to put it. I'm really tired of Holidays. And then I have Japanese Tears. And I think this is just Japanese deer Tears on both sides. It's a promotional copy. So, yeah. Both sides are just Jap Japanese Tears. And, don't mind me putting things back in sleeves. 
I've got off of Hometown Girls, um, also President Records, I think I said that before. This has Hometown Girls' ZA side and Stay Away. I love that song, I didn't mention it when I pulled the album out. And I want to make videos going through all his albums because I have so much to say. But Stay Away has just, I love it so much, the opening gets me, like, it's good. So yeah, and then lastly, of course, off Scratch Records I've got Say You Don't Mind and Go Now because what a song does he have, right? You gotta always stick it with Go Now to make sure it sells. Um, yeah, and then, this isn't directly Denny, but I've got Maggie Bell's Everlasting Love and Dangerous Woman, because Denny does backing vocals. You can see his name on there. Actually, I was really disappointed, because I got this on Discogs, and I paid, I think, 20 USD. There was a conversion, I don't remember where I got it from. I think it was from Sweden. But, oh, I don't even care if I'm touching it, because it's unplayable. I don't know if you can see, but there's a crack through the vinyl, which is quite frustrating, but sometimes when I'm really desperate to hear it, I'll just drop the needle in past the crack and listen to the song. I don't know. I've, I've heard a lot of complaints about her cover of Everlasting Love, but I think it's fun. I think it, it gets the job done. It's a fun song. I know. I'm not gonna be picky. And then, of course, I've got this All I Want Is Freedom 45 from his album All I Want Is Freedom, and B-side of Bad Money. It's it's an okay song. I mean, I'm not gonna... I know I like to talk up every song he does, but it's, it's not the best, but I don't know why they would choose that for the B-side. I could think of other tracks that might have been more fitting, but yeah, I got this from Radio Netherland. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's in really good condition aside from the sticker on it, but I can't complain because I've never seen it before aside from this one, so no complaints. Okay, moving on from the vinyl, finally, because I know that's a lot. I just have a lot to say about those, but there's, I call this my Denny bag, because I don't have a very good storage method, and this is the best I clearly can do. So I've got tons of autographs, photos, newspaper clippings, articles, and I think I have a magazine in here too. So, yeah, fun stuff in here. First of all, I've got All I Want Is Freedom album. I need to get it in a jewel case. Jewel case is cracked, but the album itself is in great condition. Got Denny's autograph on it, so it's pretty cool. And I have this picture. Yep, pretty self explanatory. He's got time at the concert. I've got this from the first time I met Denny at a Beatles Fest in New York, so that was cool. That was really nice of him to sign this. And picture with Denny. I have a lot of those. And then, this isn't primarily Denny related and all you Wings fans, I know I've seen them a million times, but I've got my Back to the Egg trading card set, and I've got this little guy, so that's nice. I'll just keep it in here for safekeeping, I guess. This is really cool, and I, should, I could do a whole video talking about this, but if you don't know, Denny has a musical, so I guess you could call it like a rock opera almost, I don't know. Uh, it's a it's like a science fiction environmentally environmental consciousness thing it's called Arctic Song and he played it with a school in Fredonia New York at um, with college students and it was really cool it was like amazing and this program is unbelievable it's got stories of every single song for the album this is a very it's a very like hard to find sought after thing I don't have a physical copy of it it's the only thing my collection really needs I'll get it one day but yeah, that is a treasure. I gotta get that framed one day. And I have this from a concert from long before I was born, but it's pretty cool. I just really like the art on it, you know? I made it into a t-shirt because it was so cool. And I've got this Wings oh, picture. I missed a 45, yay more. I've also got this one. I think this was a French release on Wizard Records, if I'm... I could be very wrong. I believe it was French. But yeah, it's got a uh, find a way somehow on it, and I actually can't remember the B-side because I never want to touch it because it was expensive. Uh, Move Me to Another Place. So yeah, this is, these are Ah Lane songs, but I think the cover's cool. It's very purple. Pink, purple. I think it's purple. I have got a stack of these if anybody wants one. I will happily mail you one because I've got a stack. Yeah, there are a lot of them. <laughs>
and okay here this is something that i think is really cool i bought these on ebay they're from uh heartbeat 86 in birmingham and for editorial use only i've got two photos right here maybe you can see them pretty hard to see but yeah they're cool shots and i also have a wings one There, that one's a little easier to see, kind of. Sorry, the light's so bad, but yeah, I love those so much. They're my pride and joy. <laughs> I've got this cool picture. Yeah. Oh, you can see through it, unfortunately, and see the label on the back. It's kind of ruining it, but yeah, really cool print. Never saw this photo before until I saw this print, and it's. I just like the way it's shot a lot. The, the little pocket watch is really cool. Newspaper clippings, and may as well go through them all, because I guess that's the point of this whole thing anyway, so. Here we go. I have got, where is he? The Den Denny Lane Band. So this is from After Wings. It doesn't have a date on it, but it says Denny Lane Band X Wings. I don't know if that's readable at all, but yeah. And I have got, this looks, I think this is much more recent, just a clipping about him here. A little short biography thing. I've got another Denny Lane band. This is from August 18th. And there's no year again, but it's at the Marquee on Wardour Street. Denny Lane band ad. Another one of those. Denny Lane and his band. I have got from Scratch, uh, Scratch Records, I'm assuming newspaper advertisement pretty cool and an article from January 3rd 1980 from NME another short little blurb because I got a million and I can like I have post pictures of these posted on my Facebook and I can always post more of them but and then yeah this one is from February 25th 1978 so this is still wings time Oh, the light is so bad, I apologize. But yeah, you can kind of see the picture like that. It's pretty sweet. But wait, there's more. These? I got these for a bargain. Or I'll start with this one, actually. Not really just any, but... Nice letting go advertisement. I want to get that framed. I want to get all these framed. One day. I always say one day. It hasn't happened yet. And I've got a holidays ad here. So I've got these three. First of all, we got this. And these are all holidays things, but yeah. Cool promotional page ads. Another one. And then his Moon Dreams advertisement. This is my favorite one, I think. I really like the picture. And then, not done yet. I have this article here. I mean, I, I know you obviously can't read them, but I mean, nothing that amazing in here. New Musical Express, August 17th, 1974. Denny on his houseboat. Yeah, another fun little picture at the bottom. If you could see it, sorry about the light again. I keep apologizing. And another one I really like this. There's the cover, and then it continues on doing one other page in the back, so it's a decently, decent sized article. Yeah. And now for the photos. I have more. I've got this, which I need to get signed at some point. I really like this photo. These are all separate prints, so I just have them in a screen protector. And I also have this, which I think thought was really cool. I think this is from Hometown Girls, President Records. Yeah, I like that one got this one. Doesn't have a date on it or anything. I've got this one. And then I have this magazine, which I think is just a cool magazine, regardless of Denny being in it. The Beat Instrumental from October 5th, 1970. But yeah, it's got an article about Denny Lane when he was in Balls with Trevor Burton and Alan White. So that's cool. So you don't really see much information about them. That, like, them as a group. I mean, on their own, yeah. But, and then, I mean, 
this is unrelated, but there's cool stuff about bread in there, and I like bread, so cool magazine. And okay, last but not least, I have this fun little article here titled, Denny Lane, Has Success Gone to His Head? I just think it's pretty funny. Got Denny doing some handstands at the bottom. It's hard to see. You know what? I could do this. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but yeah, so you can kind of see. Just a fun article. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have more stuff, but it's in my closet and it's not like you're really getting anything from seeing me hold up pieces of old paper anyway, so yeah. I just figured I'd share my hoarding. <laughs> and yeah, see ya. Thanks for watching.